is actually a funny story, actually. So when I was in high school, I just wanted to play sports. I just wanted to get through the day. And so when it came to like picking colleges, I had been going to this young men's leadership conference that Morehouse hosted for the last, since I was in eighth grade. So I've been going eighth grade, 10th grade, ninth grade all the way through. So it was, I was just like, all right, in terms of schools, I didn't really have any schools in mind, but I knew I was going to apply to Morehouse. And I, was, I knew that, all right, if I get into Morehouse, I don't want to go anywhere else. So I applied early admissions, I got in, and that was the only school I applied to. I think it was kind of a little bit of like everything. Um, I visited like once, and as soon as we got on the campus, I looked at my parents, I was like, okay. This, <laughs> I was like, this might be the school. Um, but I had visited University of New Haven before that, which was my other, the school that I was really actually going to go to. Um, but then when I got to the campus, I didn't really, feel you know I didn't really feel like there was a connection so I was like ah eh, let's try another school um, and Roger Williams did also give me a substantial amount of um, scholarship so I was like to make it easier on me and my parents and my family that was kind of the best choice at the time. I was able to go down there see what the campus looked like and I kind of immediately fell in love with it I felt like this was definitely a place I could see myself like walking to and from and if you can't see yourself on the campus then I wouldn't suggest going there, or just any school in general, because if you can't see yourself being there, you're not gonna have a good time. So I could see myself walking up and down Brown Street. I could see, I like, you know, what the athletic program was talking about at the time. And I was, I, yeah, so I just fell in love with it. I didn't really want to apply to any other schools, partly because I think it was partly laziness. But on the other hand, it was just, I really wanted to go to Morehouse and I got in, so I was satisfied. So I decided to go to school in Boston because I wanted a change of scenery. I'm originally from California, so I just wanted to, you know, go to a place I've never been before, you know, see new places, meet new people. Um, just want to get out of, you know, the home that I've been um, in for like the past, you know, um, 14 years of my life. Didn't really have a specific reason to go there. Kind of just liked it. Two of my sister's really good friends, they both went there, so that probably helped a little bit. I definitely visited the campus and liked it a lot. It's very nice, it's, there's like one major walkway. It's not too big too, it's like 10, 15,000 kids, so it's a bigger school, but kind of not huge like some southern schools, or because I didn't really want too, too big. There was really no sort of campus touring or exploration of what campus life is like at any of these schools that I applied to. Um, because of the pandemic. So like a year ago today even, I wasn't really uh, too you know, motivated to apply there just because I had all these uh, preconceptions in my head of like uh, what Harvard would be. And so um, I got started like really late uh, December 27th um, to get it in for the January 1st deadline. When I got the uh, notification or like the letter of admission um, of course like it was just an instant like oh you're going there and it was super uh, a very proud moment in that moment um, when you know I heard about it and my and I got to see my family's reaction um, but it also was sort of a just a consensus agreement like okay like now I'm gonna wear this on my sleeve as a badge of like pride um, for sort of the different you know, communities I represent. Um, really, Roger Williams had a close-knit community. Um, I'm in a lot of clubs, and one of the clubs is called The Barbershop, um, which is an affinity group for men of color. Um, and that was one of the things that kind of drew me in, um, because they had opportunities like that for students of color to get involved, because it is a predominantly white institution. Um, so, you know, ha really having a group and other groups that I can kind of form a type of family bond with was what kind of drew me closer to that school specifically. So both of my parents actually went to Xavier and they met there, so I'm kind of the that uh, child. But I actually knew what Xavier could do for me, so they had graduated the most kids of color from medical school, and I knew I wanted to be a doctor, and so Xavier was where I wanted to be, that's why I applied. Um, they ended up giving me the most money, so um, that's where I went. And I just all around loved the idea of going to an HBCU, so for those of you that don't know, an HBCU is a historically black college and university. I had gone to other schools like Spelman, um, and I had gone to other campuses, uh, but I decided that Xavier was the best place for me. Honestly, I love it. It's been, it's been hard since COVID, post-COVID, but I do love the school. Uh, Emerson College is a great uh, school for what I want to do. It's a private school and we all know how expensive colleges are in the United States. Uh, so, you know, having some loans, um, you know, albeit they're loans, but they still uh, help me a lot 
with paying off uh, the tuition. Uh, so yes, uh, receiving uh, financial aid was definitely a factor. So I only applied to a handful of schools, early decision, Simmons being one of them, and then a couple other state schools. So once I got accepted to Simmons, that was just like the best choice financially for me. My dad actually works there um, and they offer a tuition exchange program. All tuition is waived and then if I wanted to live there, I would have paid for that, but I opted to commute because my parents' home is fairly close. So I had no intention to go to Emerson. I wanted to go to Columbia. I just thought it was the most suitable program for me. Um, but obviously it was very expensive. I think like a year was a uh, 70,000. And then I get a response from Emerson saying that I, get a, that I got a full scholarship. And I'm sitting there and thinking, what should I do? And should I, I mean, this is my dream and this other school I don't even know. Uh, I replied to Emerson sometime before that, that I'm not gonna attend. Like literally when I was like, you know, on the verge of saying no to everything and just like going on a ship and being a sailor or whatever, um, I get an email from uh, GDP from Emerson saying like, hey Sarah, I don't know if you understand, but like a 100% scholarship is something that we don't usually offer to students. It never occurred to me if it was so special because for me, all this money coming from Serbia where like, you don't talk these numbers, or am I gonna pursue my dream, which still I don't have money for. Like, first week of September, I, I wrote the email to Columbia, like, I'm, I'm not accepting. <laughs> and now I'm so happy, like, I had a Eureka, like, oh my God, I made such a good choice. <laughs>